All right. Welcome, everybody, to Facebook Saturday, which doesn't sound as good as Facebook Friday. So I decided we're going to call it Keep It Simple Saturday. So um, <laughs> welcome. If you've never visited me before, my name is Anne Marie Heil. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas, and you can find me over on my blog at stampinand.com. And my usual time for Facebook Live is Fridays at 4 p.m. Central. So I'm obviously not at that time today. <laughs> I had to shift things. I had um, I had some vet appointments Thursday and Friday this week. Um, I had one of my dogs needed to get some treatments, and I just needed to be available for her. And lo and behold, her pickup time was right in my Facebook live window yesterday. So that's why I couldn't do it. I just didn't want to try and cram too many things in. I just thought it would be easier to um, just move it to Saturday this week. So that's what we did. So welcome to Keep It Simple Saturday. Um, I'm going to make a kind of a clean and simple card today. I, 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 If you've ever visited me before, you know I like lots of layers and um, all kinds of extra details on my cards. So um, one thing I'm trying to challenge myself to do a little bit more are clean and simple cards. They're definitely a challenge for me. And um, so I'm trying to do a couple more of them. So I thought it would be fun to do Keep It Simple Saturday. I'm just going to move down just a little bit. Sorry for the, the jiggle jiggle. I think we're straight. Okay. So if you are watching, I would love it if you would just say hi. Let me know you're here. Let me know where you're watching from, whether you're watching um, live or whether you're watching the replay on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, I do want to let you know that in the description of this video, there are links to all of my different social media platforms. Like um, if you're watching this on Facebook, you'll have links to YouTube there, um, links to my blog, which is also where you can find it's kind of my home base. It's where all of all you can find all of my information. You can find um, how to shop in my online store and all that good stuff. There's also, I think, a link to Instagram, all that good stuff. Hello, Carol. Good morning from California. It's still pretty early for you, huh? So we're going to go ahead and get started today with Zany Zoo. I absolutely love this cute little bundle from the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. And we're going to make kind of a clean and simple card today with Zany Zoo. And then I'm going to show you, I have another alternative I can show you at the end as well. I like to start out by sharing some cards I've received recently. So just because I want to give some folks a shout out. Um, also, I'm, this host code was here for this whole time. It's also in the description of this video. Um, and so if you do shop in my online store and you use this host code, you will get some extra little goodies from me. Orders over $50, you do get a, um, a PDF tutorial emailed to you. And then I also mail you some extra goodies too. So if you need any Stampin' Up! product, I would love to help you out with that. Okay, so let me share a couple cards that I got recently. Here's a card from Susan, and you guys are going to have to forgive me because it is still way too early for me to remember all these stamp names. I didn't write them down, but I just love this, um, this beautiful, I believe this is in the annual catalog. I cannot remember the name of it <laughs> right now, but I just love this beautiful card, and it has some of my favorite colors. And look, she even did her envelope flap to match the paper. That's just a fun little detail. I love that. And then this card is from Donna. Love this. This is really, um, it's cut out of another one of the cards, I think. This is one of our kits. And she, I think she cut this thanks out to um, kind of have some multi colors, which I think is really pretty. I love this pattern. And here's another card for Susan. I didn't give her a shout out on another one. She used this on another card that she um, had sent me too. And I just think it's beautiful. I, um, I love polished pink, <laughs> so I always love cards that have polished pink in it. And then here is a card from Mary Alice. I love this one with the little goose. I don't have this set yet, and I'm telling you, you guys, I'm actually going to buy this set because I think it's super, super cute. And, and look, she had a little sticker on the back, her little Happy Mail sticker. I love that. Super cute. And here is another card. This one is from Jana, and this is a really pretty um, little quote. It says, friendship improves happiness and abates misery by doubling our joy and dividing our grief. It's just such a pretty little card with this cute little doily. I just think that's really, really pretty. And last but not least, here's a card from Jenny. 
this one is super fun. I don't have this stamp set yet either, the two-tone floral, and it's on my list. I have a lot on my list. Anybody else? <laughs> so this is a fun little card, and there's lots of little sequins on there for sparkle. So thank you so much, y'all. I wanted to give you a shout out for your beautiful cards. Thank you, thank you. And all right, we're going to give away some prizes. So last week on not Facebook Live, um, <laughs> if you stopped if you stopped by the page last week, I did not do a Facebook Live. I could not, my camera would not rotate when I was in Facebook Live mode. Um, no biggie. I just did a recording over on YouTube, but I think a lot of people may have missed it. So if you missed last week, we did crafting with you. The video replay is posted over on my YouTube channel. So that link is in the description of the video or just go over to YouTube and type in Stampin Ann and you should be able to find my channel too. Um, I'd love for you to follow me over on YouTube. So while you're there, please subscribe so you can, um, I actually liked doing a recorded video. So <laughs> you're probably going to be seeing a lot more of that content over there soon. So, um, but if you want to catch crafting with me from last week, you can um, catch that over on YouTube. I absolutely love this little bundle. So this is a card we made. Did we do the inside? Yeah, we did. <laughs> and um, I love this one. It's perfect for all your crafty friends. Life is better when you're crafting. Sending you a handmade hug with a little stamping cut and emboss machine. So cute, right? So this video, for everybody who shared the video, even though it was a replay, I still did a drawing for everybody who shared. Good morning. Oh, just in time. Look who's here. Um, and our winner for sharing is Amanda Pittman. <laughs> How about that, Amanda? You're right on time. How funny. I saw your name and I was like, oh, it's like she has ESPN. She knows. Um, so Amanda, congratulations. You won the little crafting card. I have your address, Amanda. So I'll be popping that in the mail to you. And then I also have a um, card for commenting. So everybody who left a comment last week, I went ahead and put your name into a drawing and... There's another, Chris is watching, and she won this card last week, and I had some, I made extras, so I was like, well, I'm just going to share the wealth, because it's such a pretty card. I think it is anyway. So, it says, your kindness means everything to me. Thanks for being my friend. I figure everybody can use one of these, right? So, for everybody who commented on the video, Sally Franciscovich. And Sally, I had a hard time fitting your name on my little post-it note. <laughs> That's why it's kind of crunched in at the end. So Sally, congratulations. And thank you for um, leaving a comment on my video. Sally, I don't have your address. So if you could send me an email at annemarieheil at gmail.com or you can message me here on the Stampin' Ann page with your mailing address and I'll pop that little card in the mail to you. Okay, so congratulations, Amanda. Congratulations, Sally. You won some happy mail. And I'll be popping those in the mail here. Oh, it's a long weekend. I forgot about that. So Tuesday. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, so we don't have mail on Monday. So there you go. All right. Who's ready to craft? I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm all discombobulated. I'm at my, no, I'm not at my normal day, not at my normal time. I'm just like, what's going on? Um, and I'm super thirsty. So we're going to get started today with Zany Zoo. And I saw, I think, Carol, you said you have this, right? Did I see? Yep. She said, yeah, yeah, I have the stamp set. This is just such a fun little set. It's just, I mean, I think critters are more fun when they wear clothes and they're doing things. So <laughs> I don't know why, but like a knitting llama and a little like turtle with a maraca, like seriously, does it get any cuter? Like a little, what is this? She's a little leopard, a little ballerina leopard. I just think this is such a cute little set. So we are doing Keep It Simple Saturday. So Carol says, how is your puppy? Carol, she's okay. She's going, she's going through heartworm treatment and she is, she's okay. She's real sore today and um, she's on a lot of medication to just kind of chill her out. So we have to keep her pretty much um, on crate rest, strict crate rest for the next 30 days while these heartworms are dying off. So it's hard because she just doesn't understand why she can't run and play. But today she really doesn't feel like running and playing. She's kind of, um, she really doesn't feel very well today. So, um, she's sleeping in here with me and 
we're just keeping her comfortable but it's so I'm a little <laughs> that's kind of why I'm out of sorts too because I'm a little bit tired I've been I've had like crazy sleep schedules so I'm with her these past few days like with her treatments and all that stuff so I'm um a little sleep deprived and I'm probably going to take a nap this afternoon not going to lie but thank you for asking she is she's going to be okay we just have to get over the hump with this uh, this crazy heartworm stuff I, I hate it we think she was infected before she got it like right when she came into the rescue and um she just missed the testing period and she's been on preventative so she can't it wasn't going to get any worse but she was already infected with the heartworm so we just need to tackle it and there you go. <laughs> it's it's a very expensive treatment and it's really hard on the dog. So yeah, it's it's sad, but we're getting her treated, so I'm just gonna stay optimistic. So and Carol says th sending sending healing thoughts to Stormy and Carol, poor puppy. Oh, you guys, you guys are so sweet. Thanks for thinking of me. You guys know I I love my dogs so much. Um they are they're like little kids to me. So, <laughs> so we take their treatment very care and treatment very seriously. So, um, but yeah, she'll be okay. You know, <laughs> you guys can't tell it's like super, it's like an emotional thing for me. I hate that she has to go through this, but it'll be all right. Okay. Sip of sparkling water. I am so thirsty. All right. Zany zoo. Keep it simple. Saturday. Here we go, guys. How's this for cute? We're going to make this fun little card today. <laughs> and I have another alternative to show you at the end. But we're going to make this cute little alligator card. I love him. This is so simple and easy to put together. I love this little layout. I'll tell you a little bit about my design process with this. And I love this little <laughs> alligator. Look, you guys, I'm going to move him close to the camera. His feet don't touch the pedals. So I think it's really funny that he's riding a bike, don't you? <laughs> I don't know why this cracks me up so much, but he's just kind of like, how is he riding the bike? First of all, he's way too big to balance on this little bike, and then his little feet don't touch the pedals, so it totally makes no sense, but it's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else finds that as humorous as I do, but anyway, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so a couple things for you. Um, if you want a project sheet for today's card that has measurements and a full supply list with everything that I used, it will go out in my email newsletter. I'm going to try and get that out today. It normally goes out on Saturdays. I have a couple more things on my to-do list to tackle first. So if it doesn't go out today, it's going to go out first thing tomorrow morning. But if you want a, um, a project sheet for this card that'll have measurements in the supply list so you know everything that was used to make this card, sign up for my email newsletter that goes out once a week I'm gonna pop the link in the comments um, right now it's also in the description of the video oops can't cut and paste here hold on and there we go okay so I just put it in the comments. So if you're not signed up, I welcome you to do that. And um, you will get, um, and it's completely free. So you can um, print it out and download it if you want a little creative inspiration. You'll also get the project sheet for last week's project. So um, real quick, just to recap, today is May 27th. So my email list that goes out, you will... Um, today or tomorrow morning, <laughs> bear with me, um, we'll get the project sheet for this card. And it will also have a project sheet for this card. Now next, so my email lists go out once a week. So next Saturday, you'll get the project sheet for the card I do on that Facebook Live. And then the previous week, which will be this one. So just keep that in mind with the dates. So if you're watching this at a later date, um, you, if you do sign up for my email list, you will get a project sheet. You, may, you just might not get this one depending on the date. So that's kind of the cadence of my emails. So Hello, Shirley. Oh, what a fun Saturday treat. I'm so, I, I wish I was a little bit not out of sorts this morning. I feel like I'm all discombobulated because I'm not used to going live at this time. So I'm waking up. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting it figured out. So let's get started here. We are going to do a clean and simple card. We're going to start with some pool party, which is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then I just have a layer on this that is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I didn't want a quarter inch layer, um, but I wanted to add some texture to the background, but I didn't want it to be, you know, too dramatically different than the base of the card. So we're going to grab, oh, hold on, they're over here. 
I'm surprised I remembered to bring these up that from downstairs. I was packing up Cultivated Creativity kits yesterday and I had a whole bunch of product downstairs and I'm glad I grabbed it before Facebook Live. Um, so speaking of which, if you are subscribed to my monthly club, those will be going out first thing Tuesday morning. So they're actually going to go out a little bit early this month. So um, they are getting packed up and ready to ship. So if you are a subscriber to my monthly club, they're going to head out Tuesday morning and they are super fun, you guys. Okay, we're going to emboss this with the Basics Embossing Folder. It has this fun little crosshatch pattern. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm not going to bring the big machine on the video. We'll use the little machine later, but... Normally, I have a lot of stuff cut and prepped, and I... I just cut everything, but I didn't do a lot of prep this morning, so we're going to do it together. All right, so that just adds a little bit of texture to the background for interest, which I like. Next up, we are going to take a piece of Bubble Bath, which is probably one of my new favorite color pinks. Um, this piece, I'm going to need some, I'm going to need a paper trimmer here. This piece, we're going to make it five and three eighths, no, four and one eighth, four and one eighth. So we want it just to fit the length of our um, layer here. How are y'all doing? How is everyone's weekend going so far? And I don't know how big this piece is. I'm just using a scrap. So it's just got to be about four and one eighth inch long. And I'm just going to cut this in half, whatever this is. Um, I want two pieces. <laughs> Actually, I want one piece to be a little shorter than the other. So we'll do one little piece and then one that's a little bit bigger. And with this one... We're gonna cut it with the basic borders dies. These are one of my favorite sets because they're really versatile. And I just, I really liked this um, trim for this particular card because I thought it, thought it kind of looked like his little teeth, <laughs> his little crocodile teeth. And it kind of, I don't know, I just kind of mimicked the pattern and I thought it worked well with it. So we're gonna grab the little cut and emboss machine, the baby boss, as we like to call it around here, and cut a little border. And, ta -ta -ta. oh my goodness, did you guys hear my stomach growl? <laughs> I haven't had breakfast yet. Shh, secret. <laughs> uh, I don't know about you guys. I am not a big breakfast person. Um, I... I just don't have like a big appetite in the morning. And um, so I didn't eat breakfast and I know that's probably gonna, you know, so you're gonna hear my belly grumbling a little bit in this video. Hold on, I was really struggling with my cutter last week too. Let me just turn it over. Sometimes when it doesn't go through on one side, I should just use the big machine. You know what guys, that's what I'm gonna do. Instead of fiddling with that. I'm just going to cut it off screen with my big machine. <laughs> you can tell I have lots of patience this morning, can't you? <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. We're not even going to try it. Um, I don't know if it's my plates or what's going on, but for some reason... I just seem to be struggling a little bit with that little machine. It might be time, it might be time for a replacement. It's <laughs> very well used. So, okay. And next up, we're going to use the paper that coordinates with this suite. So there is coordinating paper that is called Zoo Crew. And with this set, not only do you have lots of options with your little critters in the stamp set, but you have more options with your critters in the paper. Now, you can do a couple things. As you can see here, we do have the alligator. He's already stamped here in the, um, or not stamped, but he's printed in the paper. So we could actually use the die cut to cut him out. And I think we're actually going to do that, to be honest with you. We're just going to use the coordinating die to cut him out. Um, except, you know what? No, I don't like his flowers. So we're going to stamp him. But you could um, look at this little guy on his little scooter with his little leg in the air. I love it. <laughs> I know it's so stupid, but I love little animals are so much fun when you like have them doing things. <laughs> so and oh, and an ostrich on roller skates. I just noticed that. Ooh, 
Um, oh my gosh, that's an anteater on a unicycle. Stop. So cute. Um, so anyway, if you wanted to, if you wanted to take a shortcut, you could cut him out w from the paper and he's already colored. So that's what I think is super fun. Or you can fussy cut the animals too. They're easy to fussy cut. But on, there's patterns of animals on one side and the other side of the paper has adorable black and white prints. And I have used the heck out of this paper for the black and white prints alone. Um, I used them, as you saw on last week's card, using the Crafting With You bundle, I used the black and white print. Um, I just find it to be super versatile. So even if you don't have the Zany Zoo bundle, um, you could either fussy cut the critter, critters or just buy it for the black and white paper. Um, <laughs> I just think it's super cute. So here is, we're going to use this little, um, these little like doodle paper. I, this is probably my favorite pattern. And I'm going to do a piece that is one and a quarter. And this is going to be his road that he's going to be riding his little bike down. <laughs> one and a quarter by five, or I'm sorry, four and one eighth. We're pretty close. Four and one eighth. Just a little tiny bit off there. All right, so that's his road. And then what we're going to do is just attach these two bubble bath pieces to the back of this. And it really doesn't matter what size they are. They can just be scraps. Um, we're just going to add a little, a little pop of pink on here. So we'll just... There's my stomach again. <laughs> I probably should have eaten something before I did this video. <laughs> so I apologize if you're hearing my belly growl. Of course, now that I'm talking about eating breakfast, I'm hungry. But it's more like lunchtime now. Amy says, this sweet is my next purchase. It's so fun. And then we're just going to do like a little, not even a quarter inch. I'm just going to pop a little bit of a border on the top just to kind of give it some continuity. Can you guys hear the lawnmower? My neighbor Larry, he's mowing right next door. Um, <laughs> he's out there and before it gets too hot, he's getting some mowing in. Okay, so that's going to be his little road and then his little crocodile teeth border. So we're going to put that on the textured piece. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the back because no one's going to see this. We're going to put this close to the bottom. And I just love this little layout. It's simple. Um, it's a really clean and simple card, but it still has lots of fun interest in details with the fun little extras, like the little border and... Perfect. Now, you can pop this layer up on dimensionals if you wanted a little bit of extra bulk to your card because um, there's really not a lot of layers on this. So if you wanted to give it a little more dimension, you could do that. I'm going to keep it flat. Okay. Put a little glue on the back. And again, this layer is just one eighth inch different than the base of the card just to add some texture. Shirley says, you can't hear your tummy or the lawnmower. Well, that's good. Then I guess that means the microphone is doing its job. He's like right outside my window, so he's he's pretty close. He's in the side yard between our two houses right now. That's probably why I can hear him loudly, <laughs> but it's good that you can't hear him. I think it's going to be a hot weekend here, so... <laughs> He's getting out there before it gets too warm. Okay, so we have that. Next up, we are going to need to stamp and color our little critter. And like I mentioned, we could cut them from the paper, but I don't like the pink in the flowers, so we're going to redo it. I don't even. I didn't even put him on a stamp block, you guys. What do we got here? You're too wonderful. Let's grab our stamp set or our sentiment right at the same time. So here's our sentiment. Whoop. We'll use that in a minute, and then we'll stamp our little, um, get some blocks. Okay. Oh, he's, he's a little chonker. Let's see. Hopefully he'll, hopefully I can make him work on this block. If not, we'll get a bigger one. He's a little chonker stamp. 
Speaking of chonker, you guys, so <laughs> so when I took Stormy to the vet yesterday, um, or Thursday, rather, they did her initial weigh-in. Oh, she's gained weight since she's been going through this treatment, which is expected because um, she has been on crate rest. So oh, I don't like how I stamped that. I pushed a little too hard on his tail. Um, so anyway, she's... She's gained a little weight because let's just say she's been getting a lot of extra treats. So <laughs> she's been getting spoiled. She gets her little, that's too light. What's going on? I'm not a good stamper right now. All right. Well, we're going to use the first one because it's the best of the three. <laughs> have you guys ever done that? You just have some days it's like, oh no, that one's not good either. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what I need? I need a bigger stamp block. That's the problem. I'm trying to cut corners here, you guys, and look what happens. I'm not getting an even stamped image. So that's my fault. I was trying to cheat by using a smaller block and just make this little guy work, but he really does need a little bit bigger block. I think that's going to help. Let's see. Yeah, that helped. <laughs> so anywho, that. That was the problem, I think, with my stamping, was I just didn't use the right size block. So don't be a lazy stamper like I am. <laughs> use the right block. You'll get better, you'll get more even ink coverage. Let's go ahead and do You're Too Wonderful on a piece of Lemon Lime Twist. It's just a little scrap. Have mercy. Look at that halo. I am, I should not stamp on Saturday mornings. I, that I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that maybe live stamping on Saturday mornings is not my jam. Um, okay. Let's get them cut. All right. I'm going to use, I'm going to cut these at the same time. So I'm just going to put my plate here for my big stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're just going to line these up. So I'm going to put my little crocodile riding the bike down first. Just kind of center him. I'm going to hold him down with a post-it note. And then, oh my gosh, I have everything in a pile over here. The Zany Zoo dies. Another thing I love about these dies, there are lots of accessories in these dies. So there's flowers, trees, balloons, clouds, a curtain, a cute little um, scallop border. So there's lots more than just the animals in here. So you can really create some, there's a little stool. How cute is that? So there's definitely lots of um, options on here to create little scenes, which I love. I love making scenes. <laughs> So we're going to pop this cute little banner for You're Too Wonderful right here. Good morning, Anne Margreth. It's early for you too, huh? Still early morning for our California folks. <laughs> All right, so here we go. And now I'm just going to run these through at the same time and cut them. way easier than trying to fight with my little machine this morning. <laughs> okay, here's our little crocodile whose feet don't reach the pedals and our little banner. So cute. Okay, don't want to lose my dies. Da, 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 da. Keep all my stuff where it's supposed to be. All right, we're going to color him in with... That's Parakeet Party. I don't want that. I want Lemon Lime Twist. Where is Lemon Lime Twist? Is this it? This is it, Lemon Lime Twist. So we're gonna start by coloring our crocodile. And I'm just gonna go around his You guys, with this color refresh that Stampin' Up! just did, I had reorganized all my cardstock and all of my inks, but I hadn't redone my um, Stampin' Blends markers and I hadn't put the new ones in the caddy. And <laughs> I, you know, it's like when things are out of sight, you don't remember what you have and what you don't have. And so 
I ordered two extra sets of Lemon Lime Twist Stampin' Blends because um, I didn't think I had them. Now I have three sets, um, which is fine. I mean, we're going to use them, but I'll use them at some point or give them away as a prize. But um, so, yeah, it's always good to make sure all your Stampin' Supplies are where you can see them so <laughs> you um, you don't end up... Um, not knowing what you have. So I'm going to do his little scales in dark lemon lime twist in his little feet that are just way too short for this bike. And then I'll do a little dark shading on his belly, on his chin, up on his eyes, and just kind of blend it together with the light. These are kind of small, so... You don't have to get too crazy with your blending, but if you want to add a little shading in depth, you can. This is just, it's a little bit smaller set, so it's kind of hard to get a lot of detail, but I just want to add some darker parts. And Margaret says, I love this set more than I thought I would. Me too. You know, this is one of those sets that I was like, oh, do I really want this one? Do I really want to buy it? And... I don't know. The more, I, I think what sold me on this was the dyes. The fact that it has the cute little scenes, I, that did it for me. <laughs> I was like, no, I definitely, I want to make cute little scenes. Like who doesn't love a little curtain? <laughs> I mean, little trees. It's just so cute. All right. So we're going to do our little flowers in bubble bath. It's so tiny. <laughs> so itty bitty and then we'll do a little pool party in the center which is so tiny there's like boop 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 so three little centers and oh we need some I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do light old olive for the leaves on the flowers just so it contrasts with the crocodile a little bit there's just like a tiny handful of leaves is that a leaf hold on I gotta move this closer holy cow my eyes <laughs> need to whoo my old eyes can't see that, <laughs> that close uh-oh I see a comment Carol says you're intimidated by the blends conquer your fear you know Stampin' blends are really um they really can make anybody an artist. They're very easy to use. Um, they're very forgiving. This is um, crumb cake, crumb cake light. Um, and what I love about them is it's just two, two colors and you can get some great shading. Um, the way I like to think about using Stampin' Blends, um, we're going to use, uh, this is gray granite. Now I'm going to use Smoky Slate light. Light light gray wait a minute <laughs> gray granite and smoky slate they've hopped their spaces okay now i have smoky slate um but they're what i like to think about when i use my stampin blends is not so much coloring but kind of pushing the color around since they're alcohol based um you want to try and stay don't get too close to your edges and just kind of like pull the color um this way, if you if you push down and color like you might normally color in a um, with a marker, if you push down and kind of color, 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 that's where you can get some bleeding. But if you if you just kind of like I'm just barely touching my paper and I feel like I'm just pulling the color where it needs to go. I'm not even putting full pressure on my tip here. And that's keeping me hopefully in the lines. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really tell if I'm in the lines. This is, this is kind of a little set to color. But if you're just getting started with Stampin' Blends, I would recommend starting with a little bit bigger set <laughs> than one that has super fine detail because it's kind of hard to get a lot of shading with, um, with some of these tinier sets. Okay, but it can be done. So here we go. I'm going to move him up so you guys can see him. I think he needs a little bit more um, dark shading on his belly. That's Granny Apple Green. My lemon lime twist does not look like lemon lime twist in the holder, so I keep grabbing the wrong one. I'm just going to put a little more dark detail 
on his belly and his arms. And I don't know if anything I just said about Stampin' Blends made sense. <laughs> I can't think in color at the same time. Um, <laughs> Amanda says coloring with blends is easier than markers. It really is. It, it makes you look like an artist. And, you know, it's just... And see here where I have this line of dark where I just did it? I'm just going to take my light and just kind of go over that. And what it does is it blends that dark out a little bit so it's not such a solid line and it just adds a little bit of shading super easy so there we go he has a little bit more depth now see how he just has a little bit darker where his um where the shadow would naturally be darker okay <laughs> I'm like blah 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 I don't even know if I'm saying what I'm okay Carol says yes it did make sense good I'm glad it made sense to you <laughs> I don't know I don't know if it made sense to me but like I said, I have not had any coffee this morning, so I am like, I don't even know what I'm saying yet. And guys, clean and simple cards. So let's talk about clean and simple cards for a minute. I am having the hardest time seeing. It's tone on tone. So I'm just going to put this cute little banner up in the top corner, and then we're going to pop up our little crocodile. But clean and simple cards. What do you guys think? Who is a clean and simple card maker? I, it has been one of my things that I really want to focus on this year is getting better at doing clean and simple. But the funniest part about clean and simple for me is the cards take forever. I have the hardest time. For some reason, I can make a 13 layer card. <laughs> in less time than it takes me to do a clean and simple card it is so funny because I think with clean and simple with, with it being not cluttered and a little bit more minimalistic you, there's no room for error so any little mess up you have it's so obvious like if you don't stamp right or you know you color outside the lines it's so glaringly obvious <laughs> that you have a mistake that um it has to be perfect so <laughs> Amanda says clean and simple is so hard I'm so glad I am not alone because honestly I like when I created this card it took me forever to put it like to just figure out just a clean and simple layout so we're going to put him on the road here he's driving down the road on his little bike I don't know how he's pedaling <laughs> but we'll just we'll just make it work so here he is and now we need, I'm going to use Parakeet Party, this Baker's Twine. It's not Lemon Lime Twist, but guess what? Nobody knows. It looks similar. Oh, we had a kitty. Did you guys hear that? I have a tripod ginger kitty. His name is Tony Triple Paws. He is missing a front leg. <laughs> he is, um, he's my little meatball ginger. He, <laughs> he is outside of my craft room and he's staring at me we have a ba I have a baby gate up so the dogs are um, like are contained in here and he's staring at me through the baby gate so he can probably see the bottom of his food bowl so we're he's experiencing a crisis right now <laughs> so you may hear him crying in the background um he's fine if you guys saw him he's very well fed <laughs> He's a little chonker. We have to be careful, too, because he can't get too heavy because of his missing front leg. It's hard on their joints um, if they get overweight. So, unfortunately, <laughs> Tony Triple Paws, he wants more food than he sometimes can have, but he's fine. Hi there. He just goes by Triple or Trippy. Yes, he must be able to see the bottom of his food bowl because he's having a little meltdown. So we have our tiny little bow. And we need some iridescent pearls. Let's see if we can find them. Here are some. Almost out here. And again, clean and simple is really hard because... I just feel like sometimes, you know, it's like how much is too much when it comes to embellishments and accessories. So I don't know. I just did a little trio of pearls. When I initially made this card, I did two and it didn't seem like enough. 
So I added a third because I always like to add everything in odd numbers. So I don't know. It kind of looks like he has little bubbles coming out of his mouth, but um, or up above his head. But I don't know. I just kind of like the little bit of embellishment. It's a little tiny bit, but it doesn't distract too much from the card. So now one thing I didn't do on my original was do the inside. So we're going to do that now. Um, so the front of our card is done and it's clean and simple. What do you guys think? Is clean and simple your thing or do you prefer something with a little more layers? I actually really like this, even though it's clean and simple, I feel like it has enough detail on it that it's still a really cute card and it's super malleable. Um, and the fun little details that are added throughout, like again, his little teeth kind of mimic this. And I think the banner kind of has those same points. So I like how it kind of has repeated elements throughout. So anyway, that's my thought process. I like to share what was going on in my head when I <laughs> was putting a card together. Hopefully it makes sense to somebody. Um, and we're going to do another piece of this designer series paper. I think since the paper is going across the bottom, we're going to do one down the side on the inside. So I'm going to do a little three quarter inch strip by... And I cut this layer to the same as the pool party. So it's four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So we'll do five and three eighths. And we'll pop that one down the side. So that one's on the bottom. That one's on the side. Gives a little bit of interest. Now we just have to figure out who's going inside. Are we popping in a little critter or what are we doing? Let's figure that out. Ah, oh, Shirley says she loves it. Good. I'm glad. All right, what do we got here? We've got a singing turtle. I'm kind of just liking these balloons. Um, you're too wonderful. What can we do for an inside sentiment? I think I'm gonna do happy birthday to you and I'm gonna put these balloons in there. Let's do that. So we won't put another critter in there, but we'll just do a bunch of balloons and a happy birthday sentiment. Since I'm giving this card away, I figure everybody needs birthday cards, right? <laughs> so we'll make it a birthday card. All right. Grab happy birthday to you. I think that works. It's pretty generic, right? Where's my, I put my ink pad away. Whew, look at me. Being all cleaning up after myself. Who does that? Um, <laughs> I wish myself would have done that for the rest of my craft room. I have to spend some time cleaning my craft room today. It needs a little bit of a reset in here, you guys. It's it's at a place where it's um, I need to clean before I continue to create. Or do you guys get to that point? I'm like I can't take anything else out until I clean because it's just so it's just so bad in here. <laughs> it needs um, yeah, it it needs a big. Big, big cleanup. So I'm just going to ink up. I'm not even in the camera, am I? I'm going to ink up the balloons only. And we'll pop a little scrap underneath here. That'll work. Just a little, a little balloon bouquet. We do, then I don't have to color the critter. <laughs> so we'll just color in. Okay, we've got some bubble bath. Lemon, lime, and pool party. And since pink is my favorite, two of the balloons will be pink. <laughs> Except I think I used, oh, the top. Oh, sorry, you guys are seeing my arm up close. The top of my Stampin' Blends container just came off. I don't want it to fall over. I'm actually going to add a little bit dark of the dark bubble bath. The light was a little too light for me. Okay, so we've got bubble bath, pool party, and lemon lime twist. We'll do bring all three colors to the inside. I think that's festive enough, don't you? And lemon lime twist. I keep grabbing granny apple green. Okay, I have to remember where lemon lime twist is in my holder. It looks really similar to 
granny apple and I keep grabbing it. So there, that brings all of our colors to the inside with a cute little happy birthday sentiment. I'll have to finish the inside of my other card too because I didn't do that while I have everything out on my desk. Ah, oh, Carol says, I love this card. So cute, isn't it? I don't know. There's just something about this little, these little critters, these little critters doing stuff. That's, <laughs> that's what I, I call this set. Like the, I just love it because they're doing stuff. And I just think it's like adorable. How cute is that to coordinate with the front of our card? Love it. Hope you guys like it too. So there we go. What do you think, guys? Should Keep It Simple Saturday become a thing? Should we try and do clean and simple cards on Saturday? I don't know if I can do two lives a week, but <laughs> maybe I can. Um, so still do Facebook Friday, but Keep It Simple Saturday, maybe on occasion to channel our inner clean and simple or cast cards, as they're called. Capital C, capital A, capital S. Cast cards. That's the acronym for clean and simple, if you've never heard it before that there we go that's it guys um and you could obviously if you wanted to like there's a part of me that wants to add a bubble bath layer maybe in between here but I think this is so cute on its own I just love that it's I don't know I just think it's simple it's easy and it took me longer probably than normal but but that's just how I work with clean and simple but I like the end result so here we go and happy birthday to you we'll put it up with our other ones so you can see two together and then I have um Shirley says I'm gonna make this card yay good well if you didn't and if you didn't get the measurements Shirley it'll go out in um the newsletter later today or tomorrow but it's pretty I, I gave them all in the video but it's pretty easy to put together I think but if you need the measurements they will go out in my newsletter um okay so we have that and then here's another one remember how I told you if you um there are all those other little critters doing stuff in the paper you could very easily also I made this card where I just fussy cut the hippo out of the paper. So her little tutu, her flower, and her little shoes were already colored. And I just cut, and her little ears had pink on them too. And I just used a gray um, Stampin' Write marker and I colored in her body. And then I just fussy cut around her and I'll move her up so you can see her. She was not that hard to fussy cut. Um, I'm not a huge fussy cutting fan. So if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> And this one is really simple. I didn't add any texture in the background. Kept it simple. Use the black and white paper. Um, simple sentiment and just popped in a little bow. There's a little dual pack of ribbon in this bundle that's lemon lime twist and petal pink. So you get two ribbons, um, which I love. And I just added a simple bow and then a little trio of rhinestones so her flower could have some bling. And then she's got a couple little extra I didn't do the inside. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the insides of these cards after I end the video. <laughs> so there's another option for, and this is a pretty simple layout too. It has more layers, but it's still pretty simplistic. There's not a ton. Um, it's just using the paper, kind of using the layers and just, again, I fussy cut her out of the paper. So if you don't even have the stamp and um, die set, you know, you can use the paper to fussy cut too. So anyway, Super cute. I hope you guys love these cards and I hope you love Keep It Simple Saturday. That seems like it works, right? Like it, it sounds good. So maybe we'll do that occasionally. Um, and I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you get some time to relax and um, get some crafting done. And I will be back at my regular scheduled time next Friday at 4 p.m. Central. And if you want to watch this video replay over on YouTube, I will have that posted when my newsletter goes out. So um, hold tight. My weekly newsletter will either go out, um, again, much later today or tomorrow morning. It's just a little bit delayed because of the week I had, but I will definitely be sending it out. So be on the lookout for that. And if you're not signed up, the, the link to sign up for my newsletter is in the description of the video. And um, I would love to, love to connect with you. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon um next week at 4 p.m central if not before and um yeah so take good care and happy stamping out there bye guys